Today, a lot of what the internet knows about me or about you is the result of us telling it that stuff. So I created a website and I wrote down some thoughts I had about something or I described information about what I do. I went to Facebook and I told Facebook I like this band or I don't like this band and I posted things and I uploaded photos and stuff like that. And so a lot of the information that's online about us is consciously there. In the future, I think more and more information that's available, that's uh, sort of uploaded to the internet or to the cloud, is going to come from sources where we're not as conscious of it. It's going to come from a movement towards what's referred to as the quantified self. So there are a lot of aspects of how our bodies function and how our lives function that we don't write down. I don't remember what time I got up. Well, I kind of vaguely remember what time I got up this morning because the cat was involved. Um, but you know, I don't know, for example, exactly right now what my heart rate is, what my blood glucose level is. I don't know how many steps I've taken today. I don't know, you know, exactly what the fuel efficiency of my car is, or you know, whatever. And so. But we're starting to see people put sensors into their environment and attach sensors to their own bodies. And those sensors are going to start to generate a lot more data, both from the Internet of Things around us and from wearables on our own body. And that data is going to start to be, become part of our public profile uh, on the Internet. And so a lot more data is going to be available on the Internet that is harvested sort of directly from us. So, you know, what can I do today? Well, I can attach some sort of Fitbit to my wrist, and that Fitbit might be able to track my heart rate. That Fitbit might be able to determine how many steps I've taken. We already see a lot of people do this to try to sort of better understand themselves, to try to get in better shape, whatever. Um, you know, I can, you know, I might be able to, um, you know, when I start using these augmented, now it looks like a Ninja, <laughs> ninja Turtle a little bit, um, augmented reality glass type things, you know, uh, at that point I can imagine having a, a high resolution video feed of my entire life. So, or maybe I, I wear something like on a pendant around my neck that's a camera. So, I, and people are already experimenting with this. I don't know why, I don't know how much like how interesting that would be. But certainly today, if you want to, you can get a device, like a camera-like device, wear it around your, um wear it around your neck, and it can document your entire life. You can have a full resolution video feed of every day, start to finish, from you know when you wake up in the morning to when you re return to bed at night, everything that happened to you. And you can quote unquote never forget anything. Now you're not gonna remember most of it, uh, but there will be some sort of documentation of the whole thing, right? So whether it's health sensors, whether it's you know uh, various types of video and audio feeds that allow us to create memories and some evidence of our lives, there's a lot more information about the world around us that we can collect. Now, the move towards the quantified self is interesting because the premise here, so for example, why do people put on Fitbits? Why do people wear you know, heart rate monitors and things like that? You know, the premise here is that um, more data is good. So if I could just better understand myself, so now I can go and I can get full body scans and things like this, and I will find out things about myself that are helpful. And the question is, is this true or not? This is a natural thing to think. It's very natural and it's very human to want more information, to want to know more about the world. But there's this question, and I think we're starting to see studies of people that use things like Fitbits that have pointed out that you know, just knowing more about what I did doesn't always necessarily lead to positive changes in behavior. Um, in certain cases, knowing more about myself can actually lead me to overreact to perceived differences between myself and others um, that actually are, are completely, uh, you know, sort of un, unharmful and would have been completely okay had I not known about it. So to some degree, some of the things that we're finding out about ourselves might be things that we would be better off knowing, not knowing. Um, as opposed to knowing. Now, of course, in the future, it's possible that you know the the answer to this question is really uh, tied up in our ability to convert data to goodness, to figure out how to process the data, how to understand the data, and how to use the data. And that is certainly something that we are going to get better and better at in the future. But I fully expect that 10 years from now, 50 years from now, um, all of us will be generating data feeds constantly 
whether it's medical data, um, archival data about our lives, you know, whatever it is, we're going to be, you know, we're going to increasingly become sort of uh, high bandwidth sources of data. That data is going to be fed into the cloud, into the internet. It's going to be used by a variety of different services with the goal of trying to improve our lives, try to help us uh, be healthier, be happier, um, and overall sort of improving the world. We'll see uh, whether we can get there or not.